right, what we got here is the brand new Nike Free Run 2 running shoes uh, by Nike, obviously, as you can see in the box. Got it from about 90 bucks off their website, and along with another pair of custom shoes that I got from Nike ID. Pretty awesome site also. Uh, yeah, so let's open the box. See, we got some advertisement for the Nike Plus iPhone app or something. Useless paper. Alright, so uh, these are the shoes. Ooh. They look pretty darn nice. Uh, they feel extremely, extremely light. Um, wow, I'm surprised. I, I mean, I haven't had shoes or running shoes, brand new ones in a while, and these, and these feel really great. Okay, so, uh, the material for the, uh, Nike Free Run shoes, mainly all of it is like this mesh, plastic, synthetic kind of, uh, kind of feel to it. Um, I mean, I guess something to relate to, uh, and you guys have headsets, the X11s, they have that uh, mesh padding. This has that outer kind of feel to it, uh, that, that plastic feel, um, very similar, I guess. Um, oop, I forgot to take out the uh, stuffing. So, on the bottom of this shoe, it has an extremely flexible um, foam on the bottom. I guess for durability and flexibility and comfort, um, and I guess that's another feature of this thing that adds on to the uh, barefoot kind of feel. You know, it's very very flexible. It's not going to stop in some way um, that not, that feet would that feet wouldn't. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, and then we have the this soft material on the side. I forget what it's called, but it's like that furry kind of material. Um, you might be able to change that through Nike ID, but it's like an extra 20 bucks or so. Uh, then we got the Nike sign here. And on the inside, you got this uh, grass paint in the inside. And I took this out just to see what it was made of. And it's just a regular uh, piece of, I guess, foam. And it has like a feet shape in it. You can already see in the back. It has a like, back heel, and then it goes in. There's toes in there. So, Okay, so uh, before I actually bought these shoes... I looked at reviews for it, and there was a couple uh, comments saying that the size, when you would choose, like I chose a size 11, you would be getting a size 12, and I was afraid of that, um, but I got it anyway. I just got a size 11, and um, they were actually fine. I actually did, I actually was a half a size smaller, because it's kind of right at, almost up against my toes. So, um... Yeah, and another review or other comments said that the whole entire shoe itself is wider. Um, for me, it wasn't really that much of a problem of wideness. Um, I would probably say that it's more of tight than wide, but again, it's for people who have different feet, so it's only really, for me, I couldn't really like tell you what, what, like what's right and what's wrong. But yeah, so um, then... I forgot to mention, underneath the sole, it has this um, rubber cushion kind of thing where when you push in, it kind of stays in that spot. Um, I guess it feels pretty comfortable when you put it when you put it um, on your feet. And another thing is that there's no real need for ties or shoelaces because the there is no you don't pull this up it's basically like a slipper you just put your foot in there is no it's just, the lace is just I guess to tighten it right here but as you can see, there is no uh, lip or whatever it's called. It just stays there like that, like a slipper. Um, and when you have the arc kind of thing, uh, the arc is okay. I mean, I have I have an okay arc. I don't really notice any anything wrong. Um, but the um, I notice that when you put them on, you first notice the balance, and I guess you could tell. You can already tell that before you even put it on because this is very thick here, and when you it makes you stand more on your toes when you're walking or running, which is a good thing. Um, so that's, that's a nice thing. Uh, yeah. Now for like the performance-wise, when you're running and stuff, uh, I noticed that it's all ventilation here, all here. You can even I could tell because when I shine it in light, I could see right through it. Um, so it's it's when you when you're running. There's, there's no, you're not going to sweat at all because it's just air flowing in here. Just when it's windy, it just goes right through. You can feel it. It's pretty nice. Um, so the, you won't be sweating in these at all. Obviously, for people who aren't runners and getting these shoes, 
uh, you will feel your feet kind of aching a bit in the beginning because it feels more of a bare feet kind of feel and you have to get used to that. You have to strengthen your muscles where your feet are to, uh, uh, to if you want to get better um, and get used to these shoes because I guess these are kind of a pre professional-ish kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Alright guys, so I just want to show you a view of when you're stepping. Um, like when you put your heel down you go like this, you can see that flex. When you go like this, I want to show you what it looked like from when you step, so you know, when you're walking. Kind of like that kind of thing, so just want to show you guys a view like that, so. Very nicely, so. Like right here, I can feel my foot is right here, and my toes are all the way down there, so that what gives it that kind of, uh, that leaning forward kind of thing, so you're not going to be leaning on your heel the whole time. So, like, when you're walking a lot with shoes that aren't running or meant for walking, you start to feel that like your heel is wearing out, and that's because they're not, they're not well uh, balanced between your toe and your heel. So, you do feel that, that pressure towards your heel more than your, uh, I mean, towards your toe more than your heel, so, yeah. Alright guys, so overall, I think this is a perfect, very, very surprisingly low buy for this shoe. Um, especially from what I heard or what I read that it was uh, Lance Armstrong contributed in this design as you can see there if you have looked at these shoes online before um, they have a Lance Armstrong edition so there obviously was a reason for that um, yeah so I hope you like my review I hope you subscribe or at least like the video show your friends if they're getting it too and uh, have a nice day bye so here's the brand new Nike Free Run